Okay, welcome back to video number three. In the previous video, we ran an individual spec. We ran this spec called uh, alert spec, uh, which is in the alert management models folder. And you can see it's got a whole lot of green dots, which indicate that all of these specs, these tests have actually run correctly. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a, a, a change to this spec, and then we're gonna push it up to our forked repository, and we're gonna see how that runs in the CI. So the first thing we need to do is check what branch we're on. We are on master. Okay, so I've actually got a git pod demo branch there, but what I'm gonna do is create a new one. Okay, then we're gonna just change something. Um, in this case, we'll change this spec. It'll actually fail now. Um, so we commit it. And now we'll just push it upstream. Ah, because we didn't indicate the branch. Off it goes. Interesting. Not sure why we received that error. Okay, so over we go to our main repo. Now remember this is a fork, so it's under my my name. Go in there. And here's our branch that we just pushed. We create a merge request. So normally we would put in a lot of details about this particular merge request. Let's submit it. We can see the change, and as you can see, we are now back on the main GitLab repo, and here I am, Sean Carroll. Um, it's my first contribution, and off we go. Oh, I've got an email from GitLab, isn't that nice? And for some reason, ah oh yes, the pipeline is now running, okay. Great, so the pipeline is running. Uh, this will take some time, and eventually we will see that the test fails at which point we can correct it and push it through again. Okay, that's great. That's how to submit a merge request to GitLab. Thanks very much.